Hello, darling. Well, today's the day the whole world is waiting for. I can almost hear the noise of the big celebration going on in the United States. They have the good fortune to be situated where a celebration can be had, but they are quite welcome for my part to their luck. To the peoples of these war-torn countries and to our soldiers, the news of the war's finish in Europe is received highly welcome, but in most cases, in a quiet, reserved manner. this great step towards our goal of world peace. Our thoughts on this great day are dedicated to our fellow soldiers who have died that others might live to gain and enjoy the freedom and other virtues of peace. soldiers are hoping tonight that the ride back home will pause in their celebrations and join them in asking God that he might bestow so in great favor on these of us who have fallen in battle in the struggle for our goal of peace. It is through their supreme sacrifice that we can celebrate the reward of their sacrifices. The hardships and horrors of war are still too fresh in our memories to enable us to enjoy any hilarious celebrations. that each and every soldier in the world will pause some time today to give thanks to their fallen comrades. It will be because of the differences between the reading about the war and the coming into actual contact with the hardships of it. A soldier from experience knows the high price of a victory day and the peace it will eventually bring and will enjoy that peace in an appreciative manner unknown to others. I feel that way, darling, and will pray to God that I will always feel that way. May we never forget those who have placed within our grasp a new world of peace. Well, honey, I just started this letter around 8 o'clock, and it is now nearly 3 a.m. I just can't seem to write what is going on in my mind. I've torn more than one sheet already. I wish I was near you. I need you. It's too late, but I don't feel sleepy. I just feel shaky. I feel like crying. That's strange for soldiers, isn't it? Well, I can't help it. I feel like crying for the times. I felt like crying for my buddies that were killed or wounded besides me, and I didn't have time to cry then. I feel like crying for the times I was so cold I thought I would scream, or for the times I was so tired and sleepy I thought I would drop. But I didn't have time to either drop or cry. And mostly, I feel like crying for the days and nights. I thought I wouldn't be around to see you or home again, and still didn't have time to cry. Well now, thanks to God, I have time. I wonder if any other soldiers feel like this tonight, on this great victory day. I'll bet there are many. <laughs> <laughs> 